Hey, fuckers, what's up? I wanted to give an update of stuff that happened yesterday. So yesterday, the uh, the chief of, uh, or not the chief, the uh, patient advocate supervisor, Naja Buzzkirk, she called me and she let me know that the chief of surgery uh, has looked at my images, which they've sent the wrong images and the wrong file to so many different places. One time, I was trying to appeal my rating, and they said, uh, are you like an African-American male in your 50s that has a below-the-knee amputation in, based out of Las Vegas? And I was face-to-face -face with this nurse. I was wearing shorts, and I looked at both my legs. I was like, no, don't, don't believe so. Another time, I was at the hospital, and they wanted to see my burn marks because they said that I was rated for disability because I had uh, like third degree burns over 70% of my body. <laughs> and, uh, so I stripped down, I, I told them I, I don't have any burns and they didn't believe me. So I stripped down to my underwear and I showed the doctor when she turned around, she's like, oh my God. I was like, well, you're saying I do and I fucking don't. And they refused to admit that they made a mistake. So they have sent my, they've sent numerous veterans files and stuff to places other than mine. But anyway, so I was talking to this Naja Buzzkurt, and she was saying that uh, the chief of surgery refuses to meet with me, refuses to talk with me, refuses to have a face-to-face -face appointment, and they're basing their judgment off of images instead of seeing the patient, which they're public servants. They're funded by tax dollars. There's no fucking way they can refuse an appointment, especially if they're making a judgment of surgery based off an image so they need to see how much pain I'm in. They need to see how fucked up I am, and they're refusing to. So uh, I hung up on her because I was pissed off, and it wasn't the conversation wasn't going anywhere. So she called back. She's like, oh, are you, are you thinking about hurting yourself or blah, blah, blah? I was like, of fucking course. Not that I want to kill myself, but I think about dying every single day. And it's not because I want to. I, I don't want to check out. I don't. I don't want to die. I fought for 16 months to stay alive. I fought for 16 months begging to see doctors, begging for surgery. I've gone through chiropractic care out of pocket. I've done uh, pain management. All they do is tell you how to, oh, well, Mr. Robinson, you just have to learn how to breathe. And you need to do yoga and Tai Chi. I'm like, bitch, I can't even take a shit without almost screaming because I'm in so much pain because it kills my fucking back. I can't adjust myself on the couch without screaming in pain. I can't roll, I can't like turn left or right in my bed without screaming in pain. And uh, I've, I've done I've done all that bullshit. I've done uh, spine injections from January of this year to July. And the spine injections get me from about a pain from a 10. It gets me from a 10 down to about a seven, which still isn't enough to function. Like, I can suck it the fuck up, but not to the point where I can be productive, not to the point where I can focus, not to the point where I can work. I've lost my career. I've lost relationships. I've lost friends because I can't do anything. I can't do anything with my daughter. I've been stuck either in this chair doing schoolwork, which I can't even focus. I can't concentrate. The only reason why I'm doing school is because... That's the only, because using the GI Bill is the only way I can, I can afford my rent. That's the only way I can cover my bills. If I wasn't going to school, I'd be out on the streets. And uh, so I was telling her, I said, you know, I fought for 16 months to stay alive. I've been begging you all for an appointment. I've been begging you all to see, to see a fucking doctor, to see a surgeon. They deny it. And then Friday, I went into the ER. First, I went to the hospital. I was there for about seven and a half hours. Went to go see a primary care doctor. He couldn't log into his computer, so he couldn't do shit. So I went up to neurosurgery, asked if I could see a surgeon or just a nurse for like five minutes. That way they can see how much pain I'm in. And he said no. So then I went to the ER. And the ER just thought I was, I don't know if they thought I was just looking for drugs or what, but the nurse practitioner that I saw, she was the one that I saw three other times I've been to the ER from my back in the past 16 months. I keep telling them, 
hey, you give me anti-inflammatories, it's gonna kill my it's gonna kill my stomach, and I'm gonna start shitting blood. Well, guess what? I started shitting blood, and I started shitting blood clots. They don't have our best entrance in mind. And uh, so finally I said, you know what? I would I would every day I pray for death. I would much rather die than to suffer at the hands of the VA because they have done nothing but physically and mentally torture me. Not just this past 16 months, but ever since I got out in 2012. So instead of letting them, instead of them letting me see a doctor, they instead sent armed agents of the state. They sent armed cops to my door, started pounding on my door, doing a welfare check. I was like, motherfucker, if you're not a fucking doctor, you're not going to do anything. They're like, oh, well, they tried everything, every trick in the book. To, to get in my door, to, for me to come out, to put me in cuffs, and they're like, ooh. Anyway, a bunch of bullshit. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, they're not, the, the VA has basically washed their hands of me. They refuse to let me see a doctor in person. They won't even let me talk to a doctor on the phone. And uh, the one time I have any kind of honesty with, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm already dead. Because I have no quality of life, I can't go anywhere, I can't do anything, I can't enjoy anything, I can't even, I can't stand up long enough to make a meal hardly, I can't hardly go to the grocery store, I can't hardly take my dog out throughout the day. So, and when I do, like, just me taking my dog out, that takes everything out of me. Just me trying to do the basic, just basic hygiene takes everything out of me and I'm just so fucking pissed like they don't want to help us they don't want to help us they don't want to heal us if they're not helping to heal us they're helping to kill us and instead of them let me see a doctor face to face they send armed men to my door to see me face to face <laughs> well you bunch of fucking cowards I'm not going anywhere yeah I pray for death. I hope I pass out from pain. Because I usually pass out from pain. It happens quite often. I usually have smelling salts uh, next to the couch or in the kitchen. That way, I don't pass out from pain. But it happens. And just the other night, or last night, I passed out from pain. When I was trying to take a shower. Got that nasty thing. And, uh, yeah, so. I have no quality of life. I can't enjoy anything. Anytime I have my daughter... That poor girl, she has to see me scream in pain. She has to see me cry my eyes out. She cries because she hates seeing me in pain and doesn't know where to live. I'm 38 years old. Two and a half years ago, I was in the best shape of my life. I had a six pack. I was fucking yoked as fuck. You know, lifting a stupid amount of weight. I was running like a, like a madman. Best shape of my life. <laughs> and then having to go through the VA healthcare system, they fucking crippled me. They fucking crippled me. So, just want to update you all. And, uh, yeah, I FOIA requested the uh, 911 calls. I FOIA requested the uh, Officer Warren body camera, which is like $150, which right now I can't afford. But I at least got the ball rolling because I'm going to sue I'm gonna sue the big fat Oprah tits off these people because it's, it's criminal and it's malpractice. So, that's it. So, I'll update you guys more when more shit happens.